Hi, my name is Joey. And I'm Jesse. And this is School, School Nights. Nights. School Nights is a completely student-run show here at Calvin, showing student life on campus for students that aren't here yet. Yeah. And we can't wait to show you what we have today. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button because mm -hmm. we have awesome content every single week coming out for you. Yeah, but before we get started, like I said, my name is Joey. I'm a senior here at Calvin and I study strategic communication. My name is Jesse. I'm a junior here studying biochemistry and religion within a pre-medicine track. Jesse is one of the smartest guys on campus. He won't say it, but also Jesse, happy belated birthday. Thank Congratulations, you. Congratulations, my friend. You. Uh, it was excellent to see everyone singing your praises on Instagram. So that was excellent to oh see my word. too. Many people that I love and that love me and so much celebration of community. It was, it was a good weekend. But community is something we value here a lot at Calvin. Yeah. And we just had a huge community event, didn't we? This Saturday, we had a giant party for President yes, Boar's inauguration, and one of our really good friends who helps produce this entire show, Milena, was there interviewing awesome people. Yeah, so we can't wait to see Milena. I think there's a big Jumbotron or yeah. something where yeah. they're playing video games in the Jumbotron, but let's let you take it away, Milena. All right, I'm here with Micah, and we are at the party with the president tonight during homecoming and family weekend. So can you tell us a little bit about what this event is? Yeah, we are here to celebrate President Gore starting his time at Calvin with a bunch of fun activities, food, crafts. I've been running a bouncy castle all night where you strap a bungee cord to your back and see how far you can run. So it's been a blast and we hope that as many people come out here as possible. Yeah, so there's been a lot of fun food. Do you know like what, a lot of ethnic food. So what countries have they been from, do you know? Yeah, so there's some from Trinidad and Tobago. So there's some up from there. I have my poutine right here, and as a Canadian myself, I'm very glad to see it. And I think we have some Dutch food as well, some Dutch desserts that I still need to try. Yes, me too. I also saw some Nigerian food, so Ooh. that's been pretty good. Um, so what's been the best part of this night so far? The best part of the night has been running the bouncy castle all night, because great that's answer. all I've been doing. Okay, great answer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice night. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here with Naeem. He's actually our student body president at Calvin, so he's a senior this year. And Naeem, where are you from? I'm from Managua, Nicaragua, right in the middle of Central America. Cool. So how did you end up at Calvin? Oh, tough question to answer, honestly, but... Long story short, I stayed with my brother who graduated from Calvin my last year of high school. Okay. After pestering me for a whole year, he's like, you gotta go, go to Calvin, apply, just apply. And then I applied and got in and just chose Calvin. Awesome, yeah. awesome, great. So we're at the party with the president. Yeah. I saw you were just playing a soccer game. How'd that go? Oh, we did pretty well. I mean, we took the dub on that one and we're on to the next round of the uh, Tournament, we'll see how we do. Oh, so it's a full tournament. Yeah, it is. Awesome, great. So yeah. what's been your favorite part of tonight? I would say talking to everyone, hanging out, um, talking to alumni, talking to some of the alumni board, yeah. and just hanging out with the students as well. I love that part of my job. Yeah. And hanging out with President Gore, right? Yes, yes, awesome. we're actually about to play a game with perfect. his son and niece, awesome. so we'll see okay, how it goes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, then I'll let you go. Have fun, Sounds and thank good. you so much. Well, Malena, thank you so much for that. I love learning about all the food in the countries that President Boar has lived in. I just, uh, he's such a crazy guy for living in all these places, awesome. Yeah, it's incredible just to hear his experiences from all over the world. I think it equips him to be an incredible president. I completely agree. Understanding, um, but also a really incredible vision for Calvin. And he has such a great faith too. The yeah. faith aspect of him is phenomenal. Yeah. Transitioning now to our next segment. I'm a runner, Joey, but- You are a runner. I'm not as fast as you. Joey once set the world record for riding a Jaguar at top speeds of 100 miles per hour. That's completely a lie. What's our next segment, Joey? <laughs> our, our next segment is not a lie. It is with our friend Matt, and he is a thrower here at Calvin. He throws, I believe, shot put, yeah. and maybe some other stuff too. And he's gonna be showing us what the track team looks like yeah. and kind of how awesome that, that sport really is. We're excited to see how you might learn to be a thrower at Calvin. Take it away, Matt. What's up everyone? My name is Matt Toldy. I'm a junior here at Calvin studying biology and public health. I'm also on the track and field team as a thrower. Uh, I'm out here in the throws complex on the north side of campus. I've got the shot put ring over to my left, the uh, throwing cage over to my right, the javelin runway all the way behind me. 
Uh, now, an interesting aspect of uh, collegiate track and field is that in high school, you have your shot put and your discus. Those two events do move up and are still competed in college athletics. However, we do add two new throws events as well. So over here to my right, we also have the javelin. Um, and then we also have the hammer throw, which is introduced. Now the hammer is a 16 pound ball at the end of a stainless steel wire connected to a handle. And the basic principle of hammer throw is spinning around and around super fast um, and just trying to throw it as fast and far as you can. So the idea is that today we're going to go around looking for someone who has no idea what hammer throw is or has no idea how to throw it. And then we're going to try to get them to take a couple throws, uh, maybe see if they're better than our own hammer throwers. All right, we're back everyone. I'm over here with one of the uh, hammer throwers here at Calvin Track and Field, as long as myself. Uh, introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Isaac Yonker. I'm a senior at Calvin. My major is chemistry and I have a minor in German. That's awesome, Isaac. And how long have you been on the track and field team? I have been on the track and field team for three years. All right, and then have you been throwing hammer for three years as well? Yeah. Okay, I got you. So we're gonna use Isaac's throws today here at practice just to kind of get that baseline understanding of what we're expecting from our new hammer thrower. All right, everyone, we're back. I found the uh, contestant of the day for uh, Hammer Throw. Do you want to introduce yourself? Sure, uh, I'm Colin Jambakar. I'm a freshman at Calvin, and I'm a civil engineer on the track and field team. Awesome. So, Colin, have you heard of Hammer before, Hammer Throw? Yeah, I've heard of it. Okay, but have you thrown it? No, I'm a sprinter. Oh, a sprinter. All right, all right, maybe we can like pull him away from the sprinting world, get him more toward the throwing world. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to do a bit of offstage coaching uh, just to make sure he doesn't hurt himself on his first couple throws uh, so that we can ensure that he'll be on the throws team uh, in these next couple months. Colin, after a little bit of coaching and just kind of getting the understanding of Hammer, how are we feeling? I feel pretty confident about my ability to throw the Hammer today. All right, all right. So. From a scale on like 1 to 10, uh, 10 like you're ready for the NCAA National uh, Championship meet. You have a lot of hope in me, don't you? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'd say probably 9.8, maybe leaning towards a 9.9. A 9.8, 9.9. All right. Well, we can compare him to Isaac, see if maybe he is a 9.8, 9.9, and if he's ready for NCAA Nationals. But uh, I'm going to let you do your thing, Colin, okay. uh, now that you've gotten your coaching. So go ahead, step into the ring. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, Colin. All right, how was that? What was that like? That was so good. That was that was a PR. All right, all right, a PR. a PR personal record. I definitely think you can do better in the future. I hope to see you back throwing in the throwing cage with us. Um, so, yeah, that'll be about all for today. It was great seeing you guys. Uh, hopefully, see you again soon. Thank you so much to our track team. But now we're here with some track stars and some great student uh, athletes and adults here too. And uh, Jesse, I think we're missing something before we do this, this interview. You know, Joey, I think I know exactly what we need. What do we need? Our thinking, thinking caps! caps. All right. Amazing, I feel so much smarter already. I feel ready to study. So, we're gonna have each of you go around and just introduce yourselves. Who are you, what do you do here at Calvin? Yes, my name is Adam Halderson. I'm the head track and field coach, and this is my first season at Calvin. My name is Onyechi Hemmer. I'm a senior studying geology, and I'm also a track athlete. My name is Houston Glass. I'm a mission manager, but also an athletic manager as well. I'm also a year and a half into my job. Yeah, amazing. Nice. Uh, Thanks so yeah. much. So Onye, I have a question to kick off. 
what is it like being a student athlete at Calvin? Do you feel like you're able to balance both academics, athletics, enjoy both of them? Yeah, so the good thing about Calvin is that athletics is not like your life. It's not like that's exactly what you came here for. So you do have good balance. You have practice either early in the morning or late in the afternoon, uh, just enough time for you to not have to miss any of your classes. You go for practice two hours, maybe two and a half. Then you head off to the dining hall with your team, socialize not only with them, but with other um, uh, student teams. Um, and it's kind of just a nice mix of both as long as, you know, put your schedule well and everything works out fine. Yeah, that's awesome. So as, a, as our track head coach, how are you making sure that our students are well cared for, but also well-rounded citizens as well of Calvin? Yeah, we try to have practice in a way that won't conflict academically. So the goal here is that you're getting a degree first and athletics enhances the experience. Mm -hmm. So our practices work around the academic schedule. And fortunately, our registrar has structured everything so that you should have the afternoon practice block open from about four to seven. Uh, so it's everything structured to make it an easy, easy double. Uh, the, uh, the dining hall hours is also set up so that you can do practice and not have to worry about if you're going to get food or not. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's uh, kind of the big ways. Yeah, I know a lot of our athletes, they might even eat two dinners. They're, they're yeah. going <laughs> Our swimmers eat two breakfast yeah. sometimes. A lot of people go crazy. Hey, you have to with the two days. But Houston, I have yeah. a question too. Yes, yes. I know you played football in college. Tell us how Calvin is different from your college experience. Yeah, so I went to the University of Buffalo, which is in the Mac, a very similar size to like Western Michigan. So about 29,000 enrollment. I always say maybe classroom size. That was always a huge thing for me. 13 to 1 to a faculty ratio here. I think I was 1 to 350 in my psychology 101 <laughs> class. So that 22 to 23 average class size is a lot better versus the huge classroom size lecture halls as well. But also professors know who I am mm -hmm. outside of, you know, being a, just a number as well too. So I think that's really, really great for students. But on top of that, being a student athlete, it's nice to know you're more than a number. Yeah. yeah. One last question I have for you, Onye. When you think of your um, just experiences in track, what is just one of your favorite memories that comes to mind? I think um, the best memories and also like, you know, kind of the most painful is when you're driving like 12 hours for a meet. It's not, it's not like super amazing because you're sacrificing sleep, um, school, what time that you could have done your homework. Um, but it's also really good because it's like doing a field trip with your friends um, across the state in the cold but <laughs> but it's still those are really my best memories just like doing track but also meeting people especially coming into calvin and then that was like doing track from freshman year like that was like my first like family community and that just like pushed me into like every other thing to do on campus so the community is probably the best part that's so good. And the workouts. The workouts are The really workouts amazing. are great. Yes. Not doing it <laughs> oh, after it. how you feel. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. yes. Well, guys, thank you so much for not only being involved at Calvin, but loving this place as much as we do. And uh, we can't wait to see you guys on campus, hopefully. You can yeah. talk with our friends here yep. uh, and really just see how Calvin works into your schedule. Like, it works so well for our friends here. Yeah, and we know for a lot of you in high school, Academics, they're important. Athletics, they're important. Mm -hmm. Faith, they're important. And we want you to know that here at Calvin, you can have all three with balance and health. Yes, yeah, for sure. But guys, as always, my name is Joey. And I'm Jesse. And this has been School, School Nights. Nights.